Hi everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue on with RIP and we're going to actually take a look at how the multicast and the broadcast packets look like. So, as you know, these packets are sent every 30 seconds if you have the default timer set, but a lot of people don't know what's, what information is contained in them. You know, so, what IP addresses are in, are in them, what's the destination address, stuff like that. So here we're continuing on with our simple two router topology. We go on router one. We're going to do a nice debug command. So next out of there, debug IP packet detail. So debug IP packet detail right there. And you'll be able to see incoming and outgoing packets on the router. So the, some of the header information in that packet. So the reason you're not seeing that much stuff right now is, well, RIP, every, it's every 30 seconds, so it's waiting for router 1 every 30 seconds on, on router 2 every 30 seconds. So we're going to let this debug go for a little bit, and then to stop it, I'm going to type in U space all for undebug all, and let's take a look. So the first thing we got was a, a packet from 1.1.1.1, so S means source. So it came from this IP address, so it's telling you it's local, so it came from me. And it's going to the destination address of 224.0.0.9. Went out the fast Ethernet interface, fast 00, and it was 52 bytes long. And you can see right there, it's a multicast address. So 224.0.0.9 is the RIP multicast address. So it's just blasting out the update. It's going out. And you can see the UDP source port, 520. We also have a packet that came from 10.1.1.1, so that's the loopback address. And that's also going to the RIP multicast address with the same port. Here you could see a RIP update coming from router 2, because you can see here the source is 1.1.1.2. And the destination is 224.0.0.9, so it's going to that multicast address also. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, I understand why the updates are going out of fast Ethernet 00, but why are the updates going out of loopback 0 when loopback 0 is a fake interface? Well, for a Cisco router, uh, probably most routers, a loopback interface is counted just the same as any other interface. It thinks it's real. So it's going to try to send out traffic out to that route, out to that interface, and you know, it, there is no difference according to the router. In a future video, we're going to actually do passive interface to stop those updates. So it's going to save us a little bit of processor power in, in not, not having to deal with that extra packet to send out. But here you can see it's a debug IP packet detail. It's a very nice debugging tool that helps us look at the source and destination addresses of our RIP update packets. Well, that was another Router Gods video. Thanks for watching.